Hello, my abnormals. Yes, you guys are my abnormal tribe. So anyway, anytime that I post content within this particular playlist, I have questions or I am seeking something from source. And obviously I have questions and or are seeking something from source because I'm posting content within this particular playlist. So my long-term followers and or the non, do you guys remember when I started volunteering at a particular zoo here in my local area? It was around the time that mommy passed away, my cat. Shortly after she passed away, there was an ad placed on Indeed looking for zoo volunteers. And I answered that particular ad. Shortly after I answered that, excuse me, shortly after I answered that particular ad, I was called in to be a zoo volunteer. So anyway, that shit has ended. They got rid of my motherfucking ass nearly after a year. And um, yes, they got rid of me. They didn't fire me. You can't fire a motherfucker that's volunteering and more or less not generating any motherfucking money. Um, but they were generating money off my motherfucking ass because they was getting government money off of each uh, volunteer that they uh, have had there at the zoo. Um, but anyway, yes, they got rid of me. But the way that they got rid of me was very shady. Um, it was very uh, bogus. It was just, I mean, just the fake and phoniness of it all. It's just what gets me. I'm so sick and tired of motherfuckers being in my face that are fake and motherfucking phony. Take y'all asses somewhere else. Be fake and phony with somebody else. I don't have time for that motherfucking bullshit. So any damn way, um, when I first started volunteering at that damn zoo, I was volunteering alongside with a male zookeeper and a female zookeeper. Well, the male zookeeper, you know, he was pretty much busy, you know, and, uh, you know, he was just pretty much busy throughout the damn zoo. So um, he couldn't train me the way that, you know, I was supposed to be trained. So they felt it was best that I just pair up with the female zookeeper. Well, I thought she was cool, but, you know, you come to find out that child ended up being a, a fake, phony ass motherfucker just as well. And anyway, along the way of me volunteering alongside with her, um, we kind of built a what I thought was uh, a pretty cool relationship. And so, um, you know, they opened up to me about a few things and vice versa. Well, anyway, I knew the protocol in regard to, you know, what we could post um, regarding the animals and shit like that on our social media platforms. And, you know, I mean, I, this was told to me prior to me volunteering at the zoo. Well, anyway, myself and this particular zookeeper, uh, we were in a conversation one day in regard to our social media platforms and um <clears throat> you know we were talking about the animals and shit like that and what you know what we post and what we don't post and they foreshadow that their platform is more private and of course mine isn't and so i told them that i post you know several images uh, of the animals on my pinterest uh platform because i have a board dedicated to being a zoo volunteer and in return it seemed like they were pretty excited about that so anyway, some time goes on volunteering at the zoo and some shifts happen and um, the zookeeper whom I was volunteering with, um, you know, weren't going to be working on, um, I, I was about to say Sunday, weren't going to be working on Wednesdays anymore. So, you know, I was going to have a new, um, 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 not volunteer, but I was going to have a new keeper. So anyway, they asked me for my Pinterest platform information, um, you know, let them tell that they wanted to, you know, have it as another way of keeping in contact with me, um, you know, uh, because they weren't going to be working on Wednesdays anymore. So I had failed to give them my platform information, not because I didn't want to. It was just because, for one, I'm ADHD is all motherfucking hell. And for two, I have a life. And for three, I mean, giving someone my Pinterest platform information just wasn't you know top priority so anyway um some time goes on again and i paired up with a new female zookeeper who i thought was equally as cool but this child definitely turned out to be a sinister ass motherfucking snake in the damn grass and um <clears throat> So anyway, uh, mind you guys, I had exchanged phone numbers with the three zookeepers whom I, you know, pretty much uh, worked alongside with for uh, zoo purposes. You know, we definitely wasn't kicking it outside of that. Um, you know, it was for zoo purposes. So anyway, uh, some time goes on and I'm volunteering with the new female zookeeper. And mind you guys, she was in training as well. Um, <clears throat> 
you know, it's, it's as simple as that. She was just in motherfucking training. And so, anyway, um, excuse me, you guys, I've been drinking coffee and shit. So, anyway, some time goes on, and I remember that I'm cleaning up around the crib, and I'm checking my text messages on an intermittent basis, and I see that I had a missed text message from um, the new female zookeeper, and she asked me for my uh, Pinterest platform information, and she went on to say that she had talked to the first female zookeeper, and they foreshadowed to her that I have a Pinterest platform, and they wanted to check it out. And I didn't think anything of it. You know what I mean? I mean, shit, if you want to check out my Pinterest platform, I think it's the shit, you know, feel free to check it out. But I'm assuming they wanted to check it out more for the, um, for, for the board that I dedicated to being a zoo volunteer. So anyway, um, after giving them my Pinterest platform information, I, you know, thought about it and backtracked and I text them and I told them, look, if there's anything that's inappropriate um, regarding the zoo that, uh, you know, you feel that I need to take down or reword or whatever the case may be, let me know and I can do that. But look, look, y'all this child did not do this they took it upon themselves to go to the head boss lady and pretty much tell them about my platform and you know the, that particular section in general and um uh, pretty much just buzzed me out in regard to some postings that i posted regard uh regarding the animals and and, and some of the things that i said and i did not know that this child did this because that following wednesday when i went in there that's when i was told that you know i could no longer volunteer at the zoo but anyway um, they went on to appraise my platform. Oh, it's so good. I like it. All of the boards are good. Yada, yada, yada. Fake, phony ass motherfucker. And so they went on to do all that motherfucking bullshit, but knowing that they were going to take their motherfucking asses back and bust me out. And so any motherfucking way, here comes the following Wednesday. Now, mind y'all, I took my ass to Fry's grocery store and I bought a whole bunch of motherfucking cookies that were on sale this is the shit that i like to do um you know when i'm working amongst some alleged cool people so i like to provide for my work family and so anyway i bought a whole bunch of cookies that i was going to take to um, uh, to, to volunteer that uh, to the zoo um, that, that following wednesday so anyway the next day comes along i get dressed i grab the cookies i head to the zoo i get in the parking lot and i text old girl the new zookeeper that i was working alongside with to let her know that i'm in the parking lot the same shit that i do every motherfucking wednesday um i would text the motherfuckers to let them know i'm in the parking lot i'm about to slip on my motherfucking boots and head to the gate and I didn't get a return tax back. And so this is typical because the motherfuckers are usually, you know, taking care of animals and shit like that so they don't text back right away. And um, I put my boots on, I head to the gate, and um, I'm at the gate with the cookies, and I text her again, and um, I didn't get a, re a, re a reply back. And so at this point, I'm like, damn, they must be busy as fuck up in there. And so I text old boy, the male zookeeper, and I let him know I'm texting old girl. I'm not getting a reply back. You know, is it possible, uh, possible that you can let me in the gate? But um, he didn't text me back either. So at this point, I'm just like, okay, what is really going on? So, you know, because that's not like them not to text me back. And so and that's another thing that gets me. You trick ass motherfucker. You sit up there and bust me out and whatever the case may be and get me booted from the zoo. But at the same time, you are not woman enough. Neither one of y'all, you not woman enough or, and he's not man enough to answer y'all text message or reply back to y'all text. I mean, you, should you busting me? I mean, be, be woman enough to answer your text message and be like, look, you know, I went back and told them uh, about some of the postings that you posted, blah, 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 blah. I mean, be woman about it. You know, should you, you, but you done this shit so anyway ne neither one of the motherfuckers is answering my damn text messages so all of a sudden i see a golf cart approaching the gate and the gate slowly open opening and i didn't see a passenger more or less i couldn't see who the driver was until they got up close and so when they did get up close to the gate they made a sharp turn and i see that is the head boss lady the one that interviewed me uh for the volunteering position in the first place and so um i step in the yard and she's like we need to talk 
and um, I'm like, okay. So I thought it was because, you know, I was late, which I wasn't. I was on time. I was just waiting for one of them motherfuckers to come let me in, um, you know, it, it, it open up the motherfucking gate. And so she was like, um, you can no longer volunteer at, you can no longer volunteer here. <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Uh, it's funny to me. So she said, you can no longer volunteer here at the zoo anymore. And I'm like, no, I'm looking at her like, okay. And she was like, because of some postings. And when she said the word posting, I knew that motherfucking trick asshole took her ass back there and, and pretty much busted me out. And I mean, after, I told, after I asked her to come back to me and let me know if there was any no no everything is good blah 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 I mean all of your boards are good yada 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 and you knew in your heart that you was going to take your trick motherfucking ass back to the damn head coordinators or whatever the case may be and bust me out you knew you were going to do this but yet and still you played the phony role uh, again uh, no I mean your boards are good blah 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 everything is fine yada 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 and so any damn way um, I'm just listening to, you know, the head boss lady, you know, say what she had to say. Then she pulls out her phone. Yes, y'all. She brought up. She brought out the receipts on my motherfucking ass. She pulls out her phone. And so she 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 went through a couple of the postings that I posted. There was one posting of an animal that I posted. And, you know, uh, uh, what I said and she read it for um, she read it verbatim. Um, I had said that the zoo is going to be having some upcoming events um but i can't get into all that because it's private information and that's all i said the zoo was going to be having some upcoming events and, and which they never did have and um it's private information and uh you know i mean i can see where she's coming from but it's just like i never told the public that the zoo is going to be having some upcoming events and these what the events are and the they're go, they're going to be serving this and that and I mean they're going to have this type of ride they're going to have that type of ride no I I never exposed that to the public and so then she uh, went on to another motherfucking posting that I posted in regards to this rhino that's at the zoo now this rhino displays a certain behavior um, for one he's in the enclosure by himself so I'm pretty sure he's lonely as fuck but anyway this rhino knows how to take his horn and there is a lock you know a huge lock that you know pretty much secures the gate he takes his horn and puts it in between that lock and you know pretty much tries to get his motherfucking ass up out of it i mean this that, that big motherfucker want to be free i mean shit he wants to roam he wants to do what rhinos do in the motherfucking wow he don't want to be in that motherfucking enclosure and i can see where that was telling a little bit too much information now i did not say that the rhino tries to break out of the motherfucking enclosure because they don't take care of him blah 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 i just pretty much said that this you know what i should have said was that he uh, he's you know he he's he displays this particular behavior blah 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 either way it goes you know she felt like it was just a little bit too much too, too much information you know to be putting out there and uh, and then i did say that you know we were going to leave to go take care of more animals that are in enclosures by themselves. I guess that was a little, I mean, well shit, the, the public will see animals when they visit the motherfucking zoo that's in enclosure by themselves. So what difference does it make? I mean, shit, I said that the, we, uh, that we, I said big boy, that's what I called the rhino. That's not his real motherfucking name. I said big boy is sad now because we were getting ready to leave and go feed other animals that were in uh, that, 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 um, living enclosures by uh, that occupy enclosures by themselves i mean the public will see for them motherfucker selves when they go visit the zoo that there are animals in enclosures by them damn child baby and so then she went on further to say that and she didn't say who said it but i already know who told your motherfucking ass it was nobody but the damn zookeepers these are the motherfuckers whom i was working alongside with so it's not that the, the, the child it don't take a rocket scientist to realize who the fuck you were talking about so then she went on to say um well and they also said that you be having your phone out all the time, taking pictures of the animals without their consent and some other fabricated ass motherfucking bullshit. And I'm looking at her like, you know, I mean, for one, that's a motherfucking lie. And, you know, and I said something else and then she went on to say something else. And then I told her what y'all not going to do is change my reality into yours. And 
that's what you're not going to do because I know the events that transpire. And if I have my, for one, I live a spiritual motherfucking life, something that obviously they don't understand. Uh, uh, there were a couple of times where there was some free roaming motherfucking lizards that was around the motherfucking zoo. And I would take my phone out and record the lizards. I even uploaded some footage on, uh, 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 on my platforms in regard to these damn lizards. I may have it, ch child. And so, and then I took pictures and recorded feathers. Feathers, feathers, and then there was an uh, there was an occasion where there was this water pump thing, and it had some numbers on there, and the numbers displayed some angel numbers. I believe it was uh, one eleven and something else. And I was recording that, and I was addressing uh, my platform. Uh, child, I mean, if y'all, baby, anyway, and so then. If I were taking pictures and or videos of the animals without their consent and when they walked up or whatever and see me doing this, I would ask, you know, if this was OK and they would give me the consent. Either way it goes, it was some fabricated ass bullshit. And so I'm smiling underneath my mask while she, you know, while she's uh, addressing me. And, you know, because I, I already have future plans. I mean, at 17th, I was starting these particular classes. So I would have had to take that Wednesday off anyway to do these classes because I was not going to miss these motherfucking classes and come to find out I passed the motherfucking exam with a 98 motherfucking percent I'm still pissed off that I missed that one motherfucking question but I passed the exam with a 98 motherfucking percent and I'm on my way to being something so I have a career underneath my belts and um, you know I mean I already have future plans for myself regardless of the zoo was going to be a part of my life at, at that particular time or not so, you know, y'all didn't stop any motherfucking thing when it comes to me. But anyway, um, so yeah, she said what she said, and then I said what I said, and then I said, so that's why old girl, the one that busted me out, that's why she asked for my platform information, huh? And she was like, oh, I don't know about all that. Yes, the fuck you do, because y'all planned all this motherfucking bullshit in the first place. I had an inkling feeling that y'all wanted to get rid of my motherfucking ass. I'm an empath. I felt this shit in my gut. When you feel shit in your gut, yeah, you, it's bound to be true. And I felt this in my motherfucking gut that y'all planned on getting rid of my motherfucking ass. And that's, what, you know, I mean, it, it, I'm the only melanin, not, not to play the race car, but... I Child, sorry about that. But I'm the only piece of melanin that's around that motherfucker. And, um, yeah, you know, I mean... Hold on. Okay, I was just making sure there wasn't nothing on, bo nothing on that table that didn't need to be seen, but there ain't nothing on there. But anyway, um, yeah, but, but, child, uh, I was the only piece of melanin that was around there amongst all of those Karens and Johns and shit. And, uh, you know, I just had an inkling feeling that they wanted to get rid of my motherfucking ass because I didn't fit in around there. But I can tell you what, I mean, I didn't, the, the Johns and Karens didn't stop me from volunteering at that motherfucking zoo. I was there when I was there and I worked my motherfucking ass off. I can tell you that. And so, um, yeah, um, I knew that this was going to happen. But the way that y'all went about doing this is what, y'all supposed to be a professional motherfucking establishment. Y'all supposed to be professionals. Y'all could have pulled me to the side and been like, look, you know, uh, and this could have happened way before the, the, the whole, uh, the, the, uh, to use my motherfucking social media platform to get rid of me. Y'all could have done this way before then. Y'all already knew that y'all didn't want me around there. So y'all could have pulled me to the side and be like, look, D, we appreciate you volunteering here for nearly a year. Um, you done some, you know, you done some good work. I made some mistakes here and there, but you done some good work and, you know, but we're taking other options. It's as simple as that. And I would have understood that because as I said, I had some Something going on in my life anyway and I was going to do that regardless of the motherfucking point so y'all weren't child so but anyway to and then another thing is myself and those particular uh, uh, zoo volunteers we kind of you know share some intimate things with each other and the motherfucker that busts me out trick you going through some shit to this very motherfucking day and you've been through some motherfucking shit that you shared with me and I felt for your motherfucking punk ass and then you also went through some shit at the zoo with one of the teachers because uh, she was taking, uh, she was doing some training on the zoo 
two grounds. Um, so she didn't get along with the teacher because the teacher said that she talked too motherfucking much and she tell too many motherfucking stories. Some y'all probably think the same thing about me. I don't give a fuck. Kiss my ass. But um, yeah, so that's what the teacher told her, and I overheard her telling some other people that you know she was in her feelings about it, and she went to her car or either went home and started crying and all this whole type of bullshit. Well, your motherfucking ass wasn't crying when you was busting me out, and you wasn't that tough then, weren't, weren't you, Wonder Woman? That's what I called her at work because the trick did do a good ass job at work. I mean, she tried to stay the day with every motherfucking occasion, just like Wonder Woman. That's why I called her Wonder Woman because she tried to stay the day when it, 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 any little thing that goes on at the zoo, her motherfucking ass is she right there trying to stay the day. And when motherfuckers do shit like that, they they want people to like them. You know, they want motherfuckers to, child, baby, you, you, you have low self-esteem, honey, because uh, uh, when mother, like I said, when motherfuckers do shit like that, when they go out of their way to do shit and try, and try to play Captain Save a with every motherfucking situation, you just trying to be light. But anyway, uh, you going through something to this very motherfucking day. And, you know, I can't help but to wonder, stories. why did you strip them from various blessings? I mean, I can't help but to wonder why you stripped me from, from, from having, you know, full sight within my right eye. And why did you detach my retina uh, congenital? You know, I still wonder that to this particular day but you know this person you know but this I mean I felt for this I mean I never done anything wrong to any of the motherfuckers I mean I may have made some mistakes around there here and there but the, you know I mean yes I did cross some boundaries in regard to postings you know uh, some shit and you know on my social media platform but I mean to do this underhanded ass bullshit and to play me the way that y'all tried to play me, is, I mean, that's just, that for, it's, it's stupid, in my opinion, because y'all could have just took the child anyway. I just don't get it. You know, this child, you know, they're not to say too much, but there are women out there that can perform this particular act when this person can't. And I felt for them when they told me this. And I still feel for them. Even though they threw me under the bus, I still feel for their motherfucking ass. Um, you know, you can't, you can't do this particular act. And for you to be that sinister towards me, when I, I mean, I could have made fun of you because you can't do this. And, you know, I could have talked about, you know, your, you in regard to your past and, and shit like that. But I didn't do anything like that. I tried to uplift your spirits and I tried to, I just, you know, I, I, I just don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, I just don't get it. These same motherfuckers that know they need us treat us like shit, but we are supposed to be there to help them. To get to the light, you you threw me literally under the. Why did you do this? Was it because you knew that this went under this went against uh, zoo protocol? I mean, why? My thing. Why? 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 Why did you do this? Why didn't you just come back? Either way it goes, it's over and done with. I don't give a fuck. I just wanted to let y'all know. You know. I just wanted to tell the story and, 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 and just the fake and phoniness of it all and the underhanded bullshit, you know, just to get rid of me. That's, now y'all see why I don't like human beings? Y'all just get on my motherfucking nerves. Well, anyway, I'm about to end this video. I'm already at 23 and something seconds. All right, namaste. And uh, come on, empaths, stay away. Ch try y'all best to stay away from these psychic ass motherfucking narcissistic vampires that don't have shit else to do except prey on us and take our energy and then try to dump us at the end. Y'all gonna get enough of fucking with God's children. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. All right, namaste.